Once upon a time, on a beautiful spring day, Periwinkle Blue decided to take a walk by himself through the woodland world. Little green shoots were peeping up through the brown leaves of the forest floor. Good friend Nettle and bright Coltsfoot spread little leaves and yellow blossoms out to the sunshine. It was very joyful to greet them once again, after the long winter of their sleep. Periwinkle loved the little plant children, and he was not the only one. The bees were out and about sipping the sweet nectar of the first flowers. They were abuzz with delight, and the birds from the forest were flying all about flying gently through the spring breezes. Then a different sound came upon the breeze. It was the sound of distress. Oh, my leaves! Oh, my blossoms! Someone was lamenting with a soft moan. Periwinkle followed the sound and came upon a little plant close to the forest path. Its leaves were crumpled and bruised, what has happened, dear Violet? asked the blue capped gnome. Big feet, fast feet, too quickly running past, trampled upon me. Oh, was the Violet's reply. I can help you, little one, said Periwinkle. At this, he left her and went down to the stream. He gathered up the waters and brought them up to the violet. He poured the waters at her stems and carefully massaged the crumpled leaves back to health, spreading them out to receive the sunshine once more. The violet was quiet as the gnome worked. And then she sighed. <sighs> she opened a bud that had been closed. A beautiful purple flower opened. Oh, what is that sweet smell upon the air? asked Periwinkle. It is my gift of scent to you and the world to thank you, whispered the violet. Periwinkle sat with the flower for a while, enjoying her fine company. Then they bid each other goodbye, and humming to himself, he went on his way. <laughs>